how to load images into the Mixer Brush tool in Photoshop. Key thing is, select the Mixer Brush tool, there it is, go up here. Click there, make certain there's no tick mark against load solid color. That's the default, so just turn it off. So there it's on, now it's off. Now what you can do is go over to the image, and it could be any image, so hold down the ultra option key, and you can see you get this target. Now the size of the brush is 377. That's gonna be the area that's gonna be sampling as much as I can work out. So click there, and you can see the image there. Or click there, and you can see that image there. Or up here, again, anywhere, and you will see the image added to this. If you want to, you can go up here and you can load the brush and also you can clean it, which just removes it. Once you've done that, go to an image and apply it. Now this is using the star brush at the point, this point, and you can see the result of that. You can create all kinds of brush designs that you can use with this. So I've got that. I can undo and I can go to the brush settings and you can see I've got a whole load of different brushes here. Maybe this one, select that. Go there and now apply it. And you can see again, exactly the same thing. It's got that image and it's been added there. You can also use a type. So just go here to a document with some type. Now I'm just gonna set the size a bit larger than that. Maybe about 400, maybe 1000. Again, make certain you can hold down the ultra option key and you'll see this target. So click. If you don't set the thing up here, you will see the color picker. You will know, therefore, that it's not set on in the correct way. So now you've got that, again, go back here, and you can apply that brush. Now, I'm not gonna have it that size, so let's just reduce the size down. You can change the spacing, so just decrease the spacing. You can also change the size jitter and all those sort of things, and you can see there, you've got your image applied, and you just about make out the word text there, just about, but it is there applied with that. Maybe go to an image. So I've got an image here. Again, do exact same. This time, set the size, I'm gonna go for about maybe 345. Hold down the ultra option key, gain target and click. And now that's loaded, you gain, can see that there. Go to this document, again, undo so you can see it and apply. And there you can see the new image added to the brush. There's one issue. One issue that you might find, say you don't want the background. Well, what you can do, go to this document, or some obviously other document, with transparency. And you can do exact same. Hold down the ultra option key, and you can see that target gain, and just click there. But now, you've got the transparency, so there's no white background, no black background, etc. Again, go back to this document, and now apply the brush, and you can see there's no white background, you've just got your design. And you can select again another brush, let's just go for one that makes it even more obvious, something like that. And you can see again your tangle of reds, greens and blues. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Bye.